I feel with this outfit, the one thing it's missing is a yacht. You know, 150 meters or so, roof deck, little jacuzzi on the top, maybe a helipad, you know, pina colada on tap. Not much to ask, is it? No. In the meantime, I'll just check uh, EasyJet for flight. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So finally the sun has arrived and it is the most beautiful weather here right now in London and that means it is my favorite clothing season. Swim season! So happy, so excited. I went through my closet and then I realized I need new swimwear, beachwear, accessories, everything. I need an upgrade. I need a swimwear upgrade. So I went to some of my favorite high street stores to pick out the hottest, insta-worthy swimwear pieces for this summer. So all you really need to worry about is where you're heading. Mykonos, Capri, Amalfi Coast. Are there gonna be cute guys there? And sunscreen. <laughs> I have got you covered, guys. And now it is the time to stock up on your swimwear inventory and give your swimwear wardrobe a little upgrade because those pieces that we've had for a couple years, just not gonna cut it anymore. So today I'm gonna try them on, tell you what I think, and you gotta let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button below. I've got videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Do you wanna miss out? If you like this kind of video, haul videos, swimwear, beachwear, all that summer vibe stuff, then please give it a thumbs up so I need to make more of them. So the first trend I'm gonna to talk to you about is the frills. <laughs> I've seen this everywhere on Instagram. I've actually seen more asymmetrical frills, flouncy frills as they call them. I've seen floral applique and different decoration, but I picked out this piece from Topshop because the color really caught my eye. It's a blush pink, it looks so pretty on tanned, olive, sun-kissed skin, and I couldn't resist. This is a frill triangle bikini. The bottoms are called the frill side tango bottoms. So pretty. I love the halter neck here, the deep plunge. It has this beautiful frill here going all the way up. Also on the bottoms, ultra feminine. The cut on the bottoms is a high cut, so it gives you that really long looking leg. I think it's super pretty. The bottoms aren't a cheeky bottom and I much prefer the where they kind of like don't cover the whole butt because they're so much more flattering on the butt. When they cover the whole thing, it's like, doesn't look as good, I think. But you could definitely make it more of a cheeky bottom. Tucking here and there, I think this is super pretty for the summer and it has some padding in as well. I generally take padding out because I feel like it just makes you look bigger. But if you don't want to show your nipples, then I recommend keeping the padding in because it's very thin material. The top was a size 12 because it is sold out. I did find that online they have such a bigger selection on Topshop. In the store, it, like there were so few pieces left in my size. So I was like mixing and matching different sizes. So I do recommend checking out online. Of course, any of the swimwear and bikinis I mentioned in today's haul video are gonna be linked in the description box below. And I might put a few other ones in there if I see something that's similar and on trend to the bikinis I talk about. It does say with this bikini to keep it out of excessive sunlight. So if you are sunbathing, I would say maybe under parasol would be a good idea because you don't want to ruin your bikinis. The reason I really like shopping on the high street for bikinis and swimwear is that, to be honest, when I'm away and I'm wearing my swimwear or bikinis in the seawater, I'm sunbathing under direct sunlight, I've got oils, I've got creams on, sun creams, they lose their color, they get a little bit faded, and they don't look the same. So at least if something does go wrong, I'm not gonna be as devastated. <laughs> as I would be if it was something really high-end and very expensive. Still on the theme of flouncy frills, I have another bikini, but I kind of wanted to put this in the section of white bikinis because white bikinis are so on trend right now. They look amazing if you have a tan, look incredible. This is an off-the-shoulder bikini top from Zara 
and it's got some reinforcement inside, some boning, which gives you that structure, it gives you that support, it's got a reinforced lining as well. I love this sweetheart cut where it gives you that gorgeous neckline and it's so pretty. When I saw it, it reminded me of one of my favorite designers for swimwear, Lisa Marie Fernandez, and she stocks on net porter This one is from Lisa Marie Fernandez. Obviously, it's more expensive. As you can see, this one's blue and white. It's a sweetheart cut and it's got frills. But this one is the designer dupe that I absolutely love. It's so pretty on. The bottoms are a high cut as well. You can really elongate your legs. What you do have to take in mind though is it is super hard to keep clean. You put some tanning oil on, you put some sun cream on. You've got to be so careful because it becomes discolored really quickly. A white bikini, white swimsuit is effortlessly chic. It's on trend and will be for many years to come. It should be a staple in your wardrobe. Super flattering on the figure, perfect for all skin tones and you're just gonna look chic AF. This bikini is probably my favorite from the entire haul. And the reason is, look at this beautiful frill here. It gives me 1950s pin-up girl vibes. I love that. Next to mention are new materials. So things like velvet, denim, crochet are really in. And I found from Zara this gorgeous crochet bikini. It has matching bottoms as well. And when I went to the till to pay for these, they were actually like, oh my God, you got your hands on these, well done, because they're selling out so fast. It's their special collection from Zara, the Spring Summer Collection 03. These bottoms are in a medium, and to be honest, I could definitely have gone down a size, but they were sold out because they look a little bit large on. I love the complementing hues here. There's a little bit of color blocking going on as well. Yeah, the top is a small and it just fits really well on the bust. It's a perfect fit. It's a little bit stretchy as well. So it does give a little, you don't feel too tight in it. So this crochet knit top has actually got inner lining here, which I think is really good. I think you could actually wear this top as well during the daytime. You could wear this with a maxi skirt or a pair of denim shorts. There is so many ways you could wear this as a day wear piece. Kind of reminds me of my designer piece from Kini, which is crochet as well. This one has more elastane in it. Again, color blocking. I love trying out new materials. I definitely want to get my hands on a really cool denim piece as well and velvet. Also part of the novel materials trend is something I learnt recently. I've seen it before, but I didn't know what it was called. And it's called seersucker. How weird. Basically, it's kind of this texturized fabric and I found the perfect style. This is like a sports bra, which it actually hits on another trend, which is the sports bra trend. I'm gonna show you a couple more pieces from that because I love that sporty vibe. And I am someone who struggles to just lie out in the sun without doing something. Like I really love to be active. I love to be playing beach volleyball. I like to be going in the sea, running in and running out, just running around. You need something that's comfortable, easy, and this looks super effortless. And when you pair it with matching high cut bottoms, you look like you're straight out of the 80s. Super cool. This one is striped. I love the color as well, pink and green. So pretty, the cut is so flattering. It's that kind of like sculpting material. Like it lifts, pushes up, tucks in, sucks you in, <laughs> grabs you all in the right places. The cut is really cool. You've got like, this like square neckline and it's very fitted, it's functional. Luckily, I got a UK 8 in the top and I got a UK 10 in the bottoms. Would have preferred to go a little bit smaller in the bottoms, but again, it was all sold out. Definitely online, you've got to find the sizes because they have a lot more options. So yeah, ribbed or seersucker is really in. I found this bikini, amazing, right? Look at that color. Red is one of my favorite colors for the summer because I think red is so vibrant and it looks really great on any skin tone. Um, this one is the sports bra style. You've got this gorgeous square neckline here. This one is made from 80% nylon and 20% elastane. 
really stretchy fabric. I like that it's completely seamless. There is no annoying little bra thing here, you know, where you have to do it up. The straps aren't adjustable, but I felt like they were a perfect fit. This bikini actually also hits another trend, which is the warm tones trend. Anything from marigold to bright orange to reds, any hues that remind you of sunrise, go with that. I also picked up from Revolve, it's by Lovers and Friends, this really cute little summer dress. You could also wear it over your bikini. It's like a bright orange color and I am hopping on that trend because I love it. It really makes you look like you glow as well when you wear orange with some sun-kissed skin. Super flattering. I love the movement in this skirt. It's such a beautiful material. It's 100% polyester. It ties at the waist. I love this neckline. This dress is, I would say, is a dress that you can throw on if you're going for a lunch on the beach, or if you're going to lunch by the pool, or even for an evening out. On the ribbed trend, I also picked up this super cute bikini from Topshop. I love the plunge neckline. They did actually have this same color and ribbing in a bra style, the little tie here. Super cute, much thinner straps. I also really like that. Definitely more of a bra shape is very much on trend at the moment. And I do think they are really flattering because of the thin straps, very dainty and elegant. I really like the structure of this. I thought this was gonna be super flattering on the bust. And it comes with little padding as well. You can take those out if you wanted to, those inserts. I like that it's completely seamless. You've got no attachments, no wiring. It's just super comfortable and it's got high cut briefs as well. It's my favorite color, it's a sky blue. This one is a UK 10 on the bottoms. They didn't have a UK 8 unfortunately, all sold out. They do have them online though I did check, so it's linked below. All these swimsuits um, I mentioned are super affordable, all under 35 pounds. So yeah, hope you like that. I also think when you're building your inventory somewhere, you can't go wrong with a classic one piece. So I just had to mention in this haul, although this one is more of a premium range piece, is this really super flattering one piece from Moeva. It is so beautiful, I love the color. It does have this really cute belt around it and belts are really in with swimwear. So you can find bikinis that are belted, one pieces that are belted and it's very much on trend at the moment. If you want something that doesn't give you tan lines, go for something strapless, but if you're planning on going off a diving board in the pool, you might struggle with the strapless one piece. You gotta choose, you gotta choose guys. Can't do that for you, but I do absolutely love this one. It's one of the best features about this is actually the fact that it's made from lycra, so it moves with you, super flattering on the shape, goes with all skin tones. I'm not feeling totally confident to do the cheeky bottom with a bikini. Try a swimsuit because at least then you feel a bit more covered up with the bodysuit. What's really cool about this as well is you've got this cutout, cutout pieces. Also hitting another trend, cutout pieces are really awesome. I love this asymmetrical cut here with the asymmetrical cutout. It makes a classic silhouette look more interesting, a little bit different and unique, a little bit more standout. When you go to the beach, you just know that an Instagram photo shoot is gonna break out with you and your friends. So you need to be prepared. <laughs> but you also wanna look completely effortless, right? You wanna look like you didn't try hard. That's where the kimono comes in. This is the boho cover-up. I've got two that I picked out. They are from Melissa Oberdash. Now, Melissa Oberdash is more of a premium high street designer. I mention her because she is one of my favorites. They're so easy, breezy to throw on. They look much better than your average sundress, in my opinion. So chic. This one ties in the middle here. I think it's really flattering. Some dresses can make you look like a sack, whereas this doesn't. It's got like wide sleeves with some tassels. So pretty. This would be the perfect cover up for walking around the pool, heading to the beach, to and from throwing it on for lunch, going even for a walk around town. This one is more of like an Aztec print with this tassels here on the sleeve, on the bottom of the hem, and then it has this belt that goes around, tucks you in here. I just think they look super stylish on, and that's the kind of the look I wanna go for when I'm on the beach. 
For me, when I see someone wearing this, I feel like it gives them beach goddess vibes. So definitely packing this in my suitcase when I go away. When I go to the beach, I love accessorizing my bikinis and swimwear with dainty jewelry and stacking them up. So I wear a lot of jewelry from Rock and Rose, one of my favorite jewelry designers. I like wearing body chains. This one is like a semi body chain because it goes right down to my belly button. And I just love layering them up sometimes with chokers even. I also love to team this with some tassel earrings. Now tassel earrings are everywhere. I love the ones that are really vibrant and add a pop of color. Got these ones in blue that look a little bit more eveningy. Just really love accessorizing my beach looks. Which leads me on to this trend, which I love. It's the wide brimmed beach hat. I have one, two, or three here. For me, one of the most important things when I'm on the beach or by the pool is to cover my face. And I'm not just talking sun cream. I don't even want sun on my face. I don't think it's good for my skin at all. I don't need to have color. I put a bit of bronzer on my face and I'm good. So I've got this white one, which just goes with everything. This hat is from Melissa Obadash. I really love this wide brim. It gives you complete cover from the sun on your face. It's also really lightweight. And I really love the touch. It adds that glam as well. If your hair looks a mess on the beach, Personally, I love like having salty, wet hair, but if you feel like your hair's looking really kind of like oily and greasy, maybe from the sun, maybe from the heat, then throwing on a hat completely hides that. This one is from Eugenia Kim, and this one is from Eugenia Kim too. And I thought it goes with the dress. Just to mention with this hat, we've got this really cool black feathers all the way along. It's this ribbed red and white contrast. I love that. I love the kind of like, nautical colors in this one, it has a little tie here. Not only do they look super stylish and unique, but they also are very practical. Next up is this amazing floral headband from Zara. It's got this knot detailing at the front, super on trend. I love the vibrant colors. They do them in lots of different floral prints. It's actually quite practical as well, so obviously it like, keeps your hair in place, and when you're on the beach and the sun, the water, the wind can kind of get everywhere, but you can look stylish, as well as have your hair in control. <laughs> Next is this straw basket bag with leather and this gold chain. It's got this kind of linen material here, the drawstring. It looks so chic on the beach, but also you could wear it during the day and the evening even, because this gold chain really gives it that glam, luxe vibe. Straw bags like this are so in. I picked this one up from Zara, and I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of this. You can hold it like this, you can put it cross body, and it's just so easy to put all your little phone, big camera, sun cream in it, and you're good to go. One of my favorite accessories here is these rimless oval sunglasses from Topshop. They're in a purple color, and purple, by the way, is the new millennial pink for spring summer 18. We're moving away from millennial pink a little bit and more into lilacs and purples, which I am loving. I love that it's rimless. I like the oval shape. Sorry, but if you don't get these from this haul, I don't know if we can be friends. <laughs> you are missing out, sister. Like these are an absolute winner. They just complement every single outfit. You can't go wrong with this pair. And they're really original. I got you, girl. I got you covered for summer. If you're interested in me doing a designer swimwear beachwear haul, let me know in the comments below and I'll make one because I'm really enjoying this. I don't have to get changed in and out of outfits. So to be honest, it's too hot for proper clothes. I hope that you're enjoying the sunshine wherever you are. I can see people out in the park sunbathing. I just want to get out there. I can't wait to rock my new bikinis now. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. Was there something you liked? Was there something you didn't like? Which trend do you prefer? What was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below because I'm going to be reading and replying. Don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!